Here's everything that comes in the package. First of all, we have the RoboVac itself. There's a protective piece of cushion in here to protect it during shipping. Just simply peel that out. You can dispose of that. We have the charging base here. Got the contacts for the charging of the RoboVac. On the bottom, got some rubber feet here to keep it uh, still. There's a hidden panel here where the included power adapter gets plugged in at the bottom here. Plug it in. Depending on how far away your outlet is, you can roll up your wire inside here and then it can come out to either side, depending on where your outlet, outlet is located. And then simply put your protective cover back on. Click it. We have a very easy to read manual. Gives you all your options on how to operate the RoboVac. Very easy to read all the different features of what all the buttons do, even how to take apart the filter system and how to pull out the rollers to clean those out. All the safety instructions and maintenance. As an added bonus, they give you a pair of spy glasses. Just kidding. It's just a sticker. You can peel it off and put it on whatever you'd like. So here is the actual RoboVac. As you see, you can lift up the lid. We have our Wi-Fi light, we have a reset button. We have our power button, our home button. Here is the trap for all the dirt. Simply push this button here, pull it straight up. And then you pull out the backside here, empty out all the debris. And also the cleanable filter is right here on the backside here. Simply clicks off like that. You can clean off this filter, clean off this piece of extra dust filter here. And if it gets really bad, I'm sure there are replaceable parts as well. Click that back together. Drop it back into the RoboVac. Right here is your surveillance camera, so it can watch where it's going. If there's anything moving around in your house, it'll let you know. Close the lid. On the bottom side, we have our two tractor wheels here to help it move around. We have our swivel wheel in the front here. We have our sensors so it prevents falling off of the ledge. Then we have a track sensor back here. The roller in the side here in the middle can be removed. Simply pull up on these tabs, this cover comes out. Pull up on the one side, slide out the other side here, clean it off, have it ready for the next use. When putting it back in, just take note of the gear on the end here. Make sure it lines up perfectly. You can push the other side in on the other side. Then put the holder back together. Give it a click and that's ready to go. We have our other side brush here that can be replaced. The contacts for the charging base are right there. Nice and wide so they can line up very easily. And the front bumper, so in case it bumps up against something, it'll get hit and it'll stop and relocate itself. Let's get this thing fired up and see how well it works. So I've got the base station plugged in. You can see there's a little status light on the top of it that blinks. to let you know it's got power. I'm going to place the RoboVac on the contacts. And you'll be able to see power light starts to blink slowly white. Charge button is staying off for now. And it plays a little chime there, a little it tells you that it's charging. The charge light is now blinking, letting you know it is charging. And if we take it off the charger, power light illuminates again, turns red, and the recharge light is solid orange. Going back to the charging station. My battery is low. Charging. And so it automatically takes itself right back to its charging station when it needs more power. 
So this thing will keep you updated on what status it is in. Let's get this thing going and see how well it vacuums. Now you can see I've set up the vacuum in the corner of the room right there. I've got the docking station right behind it. It's charged, charging in the wall and it's all charged up, ready to go. I go into my Trifo app and I've already attached it to my network. I've named it Max. I can go into the settings of Max and this will be the map that it lays out as it goes through the room. Right now that's in its home base right there in the middle there. I can go into the options in the corner here. You can go into these settings and see about the device. If you wanted to change the voice settings, as I had mentioned before, it's kind of loud. So you can actually put it into a quiet mode or you can actually adjust the volume to your desired liking. There's a do not disturb mode. The resume cleaning option is enabled in case it gets canceled or disrupted, it will resume. There is a carpet boost option. You can change the suction. Right now it's in normal mode. There's a one and a half, two, and a maximum suction mode too, in case you have a very dirty rug or a very difficult rug. I'm gonna leave it in normal. There's a cleaning history, cleaning schedule. There's a maintenance. Parts of the vacuum have been used, the brush, the side brush, and filter. You can keep maintenance on that. There's a function review option. There's a find my robot. Unit of area, you could just change that for square metric or square feet. And customer support is in there. And there's also the software update section. And the software is up to date. That is good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start video option, which is here. If I push that, it just said video surveillance is on. So you can see what it's looking at. You can see me waving in the corner there, maybe. That's a neat feature. I like to be able to see where it's going or what it's stuck on or see what's in the house. Video surveillance is off. And now it turned itself off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that clean button. We're going to watch this thing go for a little while. As you can see, this thing makes some really nice lines in the carpet, but it looks very professional. I like how it cleans the floor. It has actually mapped out that section of the floor as well. I've actually paused it right now. I want to see how it goes back to the base station. I'm going to hit the recharge button. Going back to the charging station. Going back to the charging station. It's going to go find its station. Very nice job. It went back to its base station and now it's charging and then I can reschedule it for another time to vacuum. Also manually control this thing with the app. You can click this little button right here. Please use manual control mode to move me around or to assign tasks. Manual control mode is now enabled. So it comes up with this little control panel. A little joystick on the left side here. I push it forward. It's very responsive, works very quickly.
case you wanted to get some spots that were missed or something, you can just control it like a video game and go back to cleaning. And then when you want to exit that mode, you press the little X here. And then back to recharge. And we'll go right back to its home. Now that it's finished cleaning the whole room, it ran for its full two hours and the battery drained, so it found its way back to home base. And now it's recharging. Let's see how much it collected. It's telling me to put the dustbin back. This is a lot. I can't believe how much it picked up. That's really impressive and disgusting at the same time. But I'm going to empty this, let this thing recharge, and uh, I'm going to let it do its thing again in maybe a couple days or so.